Hey guys, and welcome back to more Star Ocean The Second Story. My name is Rabbit, and in our previous episode together, we were able to successfully make our way through the mine cavern and acquire the LEA medal from a gigantic barker. We delivered that to Dr. Mirage, but rather than have us just kind of wait around for her to craft those special weapons that we need to take on the Ten Wise Men, she told us that Nara wanted us to head over to Fun City so that we can kind of practice against a virtual reality slash virtual simulator that will allow us to battle fake versions of the Ten Wise Men. So three days have transpired since we had met up with Dr. Mirage, and now our training is interrupted by someone randomly proclaiming, Yowzer, looking pretty good. We don't know who it is quite yet, but let's find out. And it is Dr. Mirage. How cool. So Claude says, Dr. Mirage. I imagine she is finished with our weapons. Hi, Claude. How have you been? Great, as you can see. Mirage, does your being here mean that the antimatter weapon is complete? Yes, it's perfect. First, this is for you, Claude. This is the Sacred Tear, a sword made of antimatter. Woohoo! Now, this is for you, Rena. This is the Fallen Hope, knuckles made of antimatter. And this is void matter. This resonates with the other, with the other to, it should say I think the others, to increase the power of all of your weapons. I always thought it was honestly bizarre that she made two specific weapons for Claude and Rena, but not the rest of our party. The void matter is just supposed to, I guess, account for that. I think it would make more sense to just give us void matter or create weapons for everybody. It seems kind of weird to prioritize these two, but you know, whatever. So basically that void matter means that regardless of what weapons we use, we can take down the Ten Wise Men. So no need to use the Sacred Tear or Fallen Hope. But anyway, Mirage continues, the usage is very simple. You just need to hold on to it. Just holding it will cause your weapons to be enveloped in an antimatter field. That's pretty incredible. Well, I've got to zoom. <laughs> what? So soon? Yes, there's an essay I have to finish writing. I see. Well, good luck to the end. Remember that I'm on your side. Thank you very much, Dr. Mirage. There's no need to thank me. I had a blast making them. All right, we'll get the fuck out of here. Well, I'm off. All right, fantastic. Well, now that we have the weapons, what do we do now? I wonder if we should stay in Fun City for a little longer. We still have no word from Narl. I see. Well, let's continue with our intensive training at this fighting arena. If you wish to do some intensive training, tell me. So you do have the option, obviously, of talking to this guy, doing training if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and just save over our previous save. Okay. Let's chat him up. Do you wish to do more intensive training? Uh, actually, let me see what my... Okay. Our health and everything is good. Uh, so like I said, you can. Let's just go ahead and do it just for the sake of showcasing it in this episode. Then we will rest, and I guess I should have waited to save then, huh? Is this it? Should but basically, this is giving you an opportunity to <laughs> level up your characters, and you can kind of rest for free. I think it's slow going. There are much more efficient ways of accomplishing that, but let's just say you got here a little bit fast, a little bit early, and your levels are not where you necessarily think they need to be. This is a good yes. chance to go ahead and bring your stuff up a little bit. But I don't really need to, as you can see. Yeah, we're not going to do anymore. Oh, my God. So let's actually rest up. And then we're going to opt to go see Narl. And that was good because we got an extra level on Claude. Which, actually, I had started to take a gander at this in our previous episode. But I think I want to look at it now. I do want to go ahead and put some skill points down. Uh, no. Not yet. Leave me alone. I do want to go ahead and throw some skill points down on some things. Uh, I really, honestly, should have been maxing out effort earlier because, as you can see from the description, it is the willpower needed to achieve one's goal, lowers the needed experience to gain levels. So this is something that we really should have optimized on and kind of put points into earlier on. I'm going to go ahead and just throw some on here now. I mean... As you've been able to see, since I kind of went a pseudo OP route, we never really were in the position to where 
focusing on skill points for something like this necessarily will make or break or has had the chance to make or break our experience. It really, it really is just about you deciding how you want to skill your, your party members. I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk while I do this. Let me see how much I can get done for Bowman. Okay, so we got as many put in, into here as possible. And I think for now, that's probably going to be okay. I guess I'll go ahead and give her some HP. Do, 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 do. Let's also, yeah, why not? We're just gonna throw points into whatever. We'll focus on actually using some of these skills some more later. I've already shown you guys a couple of them, but I don't think we've ever really looked at things such as Master Chef or Blacksmith, although I did show you like customization and regular cooking. I think I did anyway, maybe I did not. But now's not really the time. Uh, we'll go ahead and just throw that in there. And everything kind of comes together, which I explained to you guys earlier that you don't have to worry outside of maxing perseverance, which I talked about this numerous times, it lowers the amount of skill points you need to learn certain skills. So outside of maxing perseverance, whatever you want to prioritize is kind of up to you. I don't believe there's really one right way or one wrong way. I mean, some people might argue focusing on herbal medicine after perseverance is wise because Basically, it makes it to where blueberries and blackberries are going to be more effective on your characters. Obviously, I didn't care that much about it because I never maxed it out. I have five points here into Claude's, and I don't even know. I guess seven there. Oh, I guess I did max it on Noelle. But yeah, I, I think everyone has at least one point in my group, but I never focus on bringing it up for everyone. So that's one that you could argue is important to prioritize early on. Same thing for effort, which I just explained. If you're wanting to gain levels faster, putting some points into this is absolutely worth it, just so uh, you need less experience to get those extra levels. Um, mental science is really good, especially for your casters, so it's something to think about. Uh, kitchen knife is also a really good one for your melee, or I guess your bruisers, uh, because obviously it's going to increase their strength. So that's something that I might just go ahead and prioritize right now. And yeah, there you go, HP restoration amount with good eye. You know, we get an increase in that. So I don't wanna belabor this, but I did just wanna go ahead and highlight that there are so many viable things to put points into. So don't be afraid to just experiment and see what works best for you and your play style. I see people often debating, no, you should do this, you should do that. But at the end of the day, it's a game. It's about having fun. Do what's going to give you the best experience. And let me quickly just throw these last couple of points. Great. And what? why not? We're going to go ahead and for Noel, let me go ahead and bring up your HP some. Uh, Noel, what else do I want for you? My friend, my friend, my friend. Hmm. Motor mouth costs so much. Hmm. I think I'm going to... Jeez. All right, why not? Let's just... Let's just get good eye. Some points here. Celine is not really in our party right now, so I don't think this is going to make that big of a difference, but whatever. We'll go ahead and do what we can with herbal medicine. And <laughs> item selling prices. Not really something I need to prioritize right now, but. Okay, and we'll just throw some in mental science, and I guess whatever. One, two, three. Rena's already zeroed out. Leon, you haven't leveled in a while, but we'll go ahead and do that. We throw some points there for my boy Leon, and. One, two, three. And we'll just go ahead and get some of these learned. And you know what? Whatever. Okay. I think that's it. Everyone should be zeroed out. We're rested up. Now we're going to save again. I apologize for making you guys watch me save earlier. I always feel like there's so much stuff I want to share with you guys. This game just has so much depth to it. Really well thought out. Props to 
try Ace. Okay, so now we're gonna say, let's go ahead and go see Narl. We've literally done everything we can do. We train one more extra time. We put our skill points into stuff. There's nothing really left for us to do here. Serena says, we still have no word from Narl, but should we return to Central City? Maybe, but how about fighting against the Ten Wise Men for one last time in the simulation? Okay, let's do it. All right. Well, shall I tag along in your intensive training? Oh, shit. You guys! Long time no see, scum. That fight on the top floor of Aluria Tower was pretty good. It's exactly like the information from Jabril. Resistance is futile. It's useless. I am Shigeo. I don't know why he always talks in all caps. Is he shouting or what is his deal? Should I say, please to meet you? Why are you here? We've heard a rumor that you scum have been up to something, so we decided to stop by and check it out for ourselves. Let me handle these scum. The last time we were rudely interrupted, now I want to settle the score. If so, then I think I'll follow that woman. They say that even the lion must expend all his effort to catch a rabbit. Let me do them in as I wish. <laughs> Wait, you! Uh-uh-uh! To follow them, you'll have to do it over my dead body. So be it, brother. Let's get it on. Just because you defeated this blockhead, don't get carried away. Yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> what, Claude? You are quite spirited. Now, let's have a contest here. Here we go. Okay, so... This let's fight go. is coming. not the worst. It's much better than our previous encounter with the Ten Wise Men, where we had to lose that fight, just for storyline purposes. But as you can see, now that we've got that, what is it called, Void Matter, I believe? Well, the item that we received from What's Her Bucket, uh, Dr. Mirage, now we're able to make contact with him with our weapons, so not really a big deal, not a problem. I'm just gonna bash him down. We've got Noel back here on the sidelines, just casting some abilities. If our health drops too much, he can absolutely heal us. So I would recommend either Noel or Rena for this, just in case your levels are not where mine are, and or you don't have the weapons that I have. But, you know, even with worse weapons, you should be able to take this guy down really easily. We're pretty much keeping him peeped the entire time, so I would hardly call this fight a challenge although don't get ahead of yourself because some of the 10 wise men are relatively tough so yeah but marsilio here piece of cake piece of delicious red velvet cake so yeah that's that one down and we got a level for Opera, a level for Ernest, not in vain. a level for Noel, and nothing for Claude, because we just got a level for him, so that's fine. To be expected. Such a, such a stupid, beautiful, it looks like you win. That's right, bitch, and you lose. <laughs> that guy is like, you guys see the little green-haired guy in the corner, he's like, oh my god, that was a real, that was a real Marsilio. Have we won? Yes, yes, we did. That's right. Quickly, we have to get after the other two. Okay. So I, I wonder if we can get back down there. Obviously, this place is modeled very similarly. How the hell? I don't know if I can get down there, actually. It's probably not an option. I want to see. No. And I'm pretty sure I've looked at this even the last time I played this. I always think there's a way to get back down there, but there is not, so it's okay. Let's go ahead and save here instead. I was hoping we would have a chance to rest with that guy, but alas, it cannot come to pass. But I am going to very quickly heal us up. Actually, let me pause the camera. I'm going to heal us up, throw more skill points on random shit, and I'll see you guys right back here in a moment. Okie dokie, guys. I took care of all of that technical business on my own, and now we are ready to 
get the hell out of here. Hopefully we can catch up with the other two. Oh shit. What was that light? Although I'm sure Noelle didn't say it with that much energy. Eek! <laughs> Why are people here? Yikes, mommy! I mean, I know it's fun city, but if we're here training, it's kind of dangerous. Help! Says a random man. Hehehe. <laughs> run, run, you worms. Oh no! He's just murdering everyone, even a little girl. What a douchebag. More, more. I want to see more of you worms writhing in pain. Stop. Who are you? What happened to Marsilio and others? Ha. They'll be waiting for you in hell. That's right, Ernest. You fucking tell him. What? Now you will feel all the suffering of everyone of Expel and all the people of need. And also, Father and his crew. Anyone else you want to throw in there, Claude? Okay, so this time we're fighting Shigeo. This guy is a And, again, this fight's not too bad. I feel kind of bad because I'm not really able to give you guys valid uh, strategies. Sorry, I'm like getting text messages from my husband, which is so random. Uh, I think I mentioned that at the start of today's recording session that I just recently got back from, it was like a little health fair that we had at a nearby city's high school, which I don't even want to get into it. It was an interesting experience. Uh, not that I, the whole health fair thing is new to me, but... Kids in rich districts drive me fucking crazy, you guys. But anyway, so getting to my husband, he left for Pennsylvania. He's actually attending his first ever conference. Uh, it's an anthropology one, and this is going to be the first time he's going to be presenting. So he's been so nervous, and I'm just so excited for him and proud of him. I mean, I still remember the first conference I ever went to. It was my second semester of graduate school. And I was fucking shaking in my boots. I was such a nervous wreck. But it went fine, you know. Most of the time, we're more nervous than other people are actually worried about how well you're doing. And so what I guess I basically mean by that is you're sitting there, you're nitpicking all of your word choices, you're nitpicking your own behavior. I mean, as long as you know your material and you don't say, um, 20 million times and you have, you know, a decent decent like presence I guess so you don't seem too nervous or you don't seem like you don't belong there it's kind of hard to put it into words but basically what I'm saying is as long as you go in with confidence that's probably the succinct way of of putting it if you go in there confident in your own abilities and in your knowledge of the information you know people are going to just focus on the information itself they're not really going to be nitpicking every little thing about you so that's kind of what I had to teach myself although I've always loved public speaking that's never been a problem for me but he is nervous because this is his first uh, conference and his first presentation at one. So I'm proud of him. I'm excited for him. And I am trying to keep him motivated via text messages. So I apologize if occasionally I'm like, wait, what was I saying? Anyway, we just kicked Shigeo's ass while I was telling you that pseudo story. And now he is completely perplexed by our power by saying, huh, why does not compute, does not compute, so compute this foot in your ass. You gone. Now, three minus two equals one. So there's one left. Wow, the power of those professional calculations there. Leon is definitely, definitely a scientist, you guys. That, that calculation of three minus two, too, too good. Yeah, but where did the last one go? Now that you mention it, didn't he say, I think I'll follow that woman? Now, who might that woman be? It couldn't be Dr. Mirage. Oh no, we have to hurry back to Armlock. 
All right, and hurry to arm lock we shall. So we're going to actually end this episode here, you guys, because we are... Where the fuck is my... Okay, there's Claude. Because we are about up on time. So I'm going to head outside, and I'm going to save. And when we come back together, as you can see, everyone is all panicky. Actually... Yeah, okay, we'll do it this way. I was like, I probably should pickpocket soon. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and pause this here. When we come back together in our next episode, we are going to head straight for Armlock and make sure that we can save Dr. Mirage before anything terrible happens to her. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm your host, Rabbit. This is my Let's Play of Star Ocean, the second story, and I will see you in just a moment in our next video together.